Well, welcome back to shop today. This is another one in the series of my basic, real quick video. And today it's got to be quick. It is so hot today, they're going to set a new heat record. Tomorrow's going to be even hotter, but that's okay. Tomorrow's my wife's birthday. i got to take her to Raleigh. Take her to the Japanese restaurant there. It's the only decent Japanese restaurant in 100 miles. And it ain't as good as it used to be. So today, very simple. We made these rings. We got to flatten them. Now, I only flatten one side of my rings. And that's because <clears throat> I'll glue them onto the turning. After 15 minutes, after 15 minutes, I'll turn the unflattened side, put the sanding put the sanding board against it and flatten it out just perfectly flat. I like to do that. I get it that way. It keeps it from getting tapered and it makes it perfectly flat. So, basically I use three methods. Well, I don't always use all three methods. The fact is I very rarely use the sanding disc anymore. First method it's just holding them up against the sanding disc. That works, works great. Okay, so you don't have a sanding disc. Well, I got a video on how you can very easily make a sanding disc for your lathe. So we're going to do that first. We're going to sand one on a sanding disc on the lathe. I have disc sander, but we're going to do it on the lathe. You can do it either way. Of course, the disc sander, you got to take the table off to get a big big ring on there, a little ring's okay. The second way, of course, we put it through the drum sander. We're going to put a couple, we're going to put one through the drum sander. Of course, not everybody has a drum sander. I'm lucky to have one. And the third way, which I do a lot, is Mounting it in the coal jaws. Mounting it in the coal jaws, putting it on the lathe, turning it flat and sanding it. We're going to do that too. So, we'll get started. I think the first one we're going to do is with the drum sander.
this, you gotta watch your fingers on these, especially these little rings. This is a sanding disc I made for the lathe. I got a video on it, real easy to do. So, like I said, you gotta be careful. there. That's it. It's flat. Just that easy. Of course, that's a little awful hard to hold with your fingers. Bigger ones are a lot easier, especially thicker ones. The last way I use putting them in a cold jar, turning it flat, and sanding it with a sanding board gets it really flat. Shouldn't take long. Hold on. guarantee you that one's flat, ready to go. Well that's it. Real easy, real simple. Three ways I know to flatten them. What you never want to do is to try and put it through a planer. Don't ever try that. So we got all these flat on one side. And the next video I'm going to do will be making just a basic bow with a solid bottom using these rings. I already got these rings, so I'm just... Basic bow, of course, is a solid bottom of one or more rings. So I'll use a couple of rings and a bottom will make just a basic bow. After that, I think I'm going to make a... Uh, 
foam or a floating bottom. I don't know, maybe. Because I still got to cover some other things like sanding. I love sanding. Most people think sanding is hard, but I've shown people just how easy it really is if you do it correctly. And I'm going to make a video here shortly. I'm going to use blood wood. Really, really hard blood wood. And I'm going to start with 80 grit. Just pretend that I got tool marks that need taken out with 80 grit. Anyway, that's another video. Like I said, next video, I'm just going to make a basic bowl, solid bottom, one ring, two rings, I don't know. And thank you for watching this video. Please come back and watch my next one. Thank you.